traffic can be very bad. And if you're caught in it, you can be stuck for a long time. Don't you just wish you could fly over it all? Well, in Bangkok you can with the SkyTrain, the Bangkok Mass Transit System, also known as the BTS. Hello, I'm Nina and I work for Cove and Castle Bangkok Tours. We are the original bicycle tour here in Bangkok and we've been operating for over 30 years now and that's why we would like to share our insights with you and today we would like to show you how easy it is to use the BTS SkyTrain. to make the most out of your time in Bangkok, use the BTS SkyTrain. It is the most convenient way to get around in Bangkok because it is connected to all the main areas. And if you connect the BTS to the subway, also known as the MRT, the airport building or the Chow Phraya access boat, you have access to almost everywhere in Bangkok. The trains start at 5 in the morning from the terminal stations and the last one is at midnight. The BTS SkyTrain has two lines, the Sukhumvit line and the Silom line. The Sukhumvit line runs from north to southeast, starting at Mochit and ending at Samrong. You can also transfer to the airport rail link at Paya Thai station and the MRT underground at Mochit and Asok stations. The Silom line starts at the National Stadium and ending at Bangwa in Tonburi, across the Chao Phraya River. It passes through major areas like Silom, where you can interchange with the subway, and Sapan Taksin, where you can board the express boat at the Saturn Pier to get to our office, Kovan Castle. You can check our other video on how to use the Chao Phraya express boat. The two lines connect at the station Siam. This is the central station and also the busiest station in Bangkok. It does not only connect the Sukhumvit line and the Silom line, it is also a really good shopping destination because there are four big shopping malls connected to each other. Once you know how to use the BTS SkyTrain, it's very easy and clear to use. First, you have to get a ticket. If you want to use the BTS, you need to buy a ticket at this ticket machine but this machine only allows coins and I have only bills so now I'm going to exchange my money into coins. The first thing you need to do is to just simply look at the maps to see your destination and there will be a number and that is the price you need to pay. So I'm going to Siam and the number is 37. So I select my fare. 37, I insert my coins, I take the ticket and take my chains and I'm ready to go. Before you get in, look for the triangle on the ticket because this is the right way to get in. Hold on to the ticket because you will need this to get out. When you're waiting for the train, wait at the spot with the arrows. Leave the arrows coming out of the train free and let the people get out before you get in. Thai are very respectful to each other and the lines are almost always perfectly lined. When you take the BTS, there's a big chance you will need to change lines at Siam. For first timers, this can be overwhelming, but it's quite simple once you understand the system. Just simply look at the map or at the back of your ticket to see where you need to go and to find your end station. There are four end stations. Mochi to Samrang and National Stadium to Bangwa. As of now, these are the four end stations, but they're coming more, as you can see. But these are under construction. at Siang and for example we would like to go to Sapan Taksin we just need to take a look Sapan Taksin is on this line and as you can see the end station is Bangwa so now we just follow the signs to Bangwa 
The BTS SkyTrain can get very busy around rush hour. The trains will be very full and the lines will be very long. But it's still not as bad as the traffic jams. So if you want to make the most out of your time in Bangkok, we recommend you to use the BTS SkyTrain. Looking for an authentic and unique adventure? Go book a tour at Coven Castle Bangkok Tours because we take you off the beaten path and show you the real Bangkok. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you learned something new about Bangkok. If you want to see more videos, you can click here. If you want to know more about us, you can click here. If you want to get more information about our tours, you can click here to visit our website. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. And then we will see you in the next video. Bye!